Hello and welcome to the new topic. And before I dive into this topic, let me ask you this. What would you do in a scenario where you have been asked to create the visualization or any analysis based on the field that is not available in the data set that you have imported? Well, in that case, think about first of all, what can you do? or what you might have done in the past. For example, you have sales or profit and you have been asked to create a profit ratio based on the sales you have done. Or within the finance department, a very common data item is the expense and budget and you need to figure out the expense to budget ratio. So what would you do in this scenario? Take a pause and then come back. So I hope you have taken the pause and uh, figured out the solution that what you need to do is create a new calculated field and that's the feature we were going to talk about in this video as in Power BI DAX is basically the language or the framework within which we basically provide the or Power BI provide the flexibility to create new fields which are helpful to produce these new analysis when the data is not available. So let's go inside the Power BI and see how we can create this. And here is the topic that we are discussing today, the topic number eight, which is creating the first DAX calculated field in Power BI. So let's move on to the Power BI. So here are some of the example scenarios that we have created earlier, and we are right now in the reports pane. And we need to move on to the data pane to create a new calculated field. And over here, what we have is the orders table if you see all these fields are related to the order table and at the end what we can do is we can create a new field or by default within the power bi when you create a new field it will be at the end so to create that we will right click and over here we have the new measure new column new quick measure so what we are going to create is the new column which will going to take each row into consideration for producing the output and what we will going to create is the profit ratio let's say the formula that is being given to us is uh, sales divide uh, sorry the profit divided by the sales and we will put it in a sort of a DAX formula what uh, Power BI provides us so we will going to create the new column and it will start doing the processing and here it will provide column is equal to or column equal to so we will give this name the column name as profit ratio and we will say sales or it should be first profit so profit divided by the sales so now once we have this as you can see this is how simple it is but it can go very complex uh, as you will see in the future videos that a very lengthy calculation that you can write with the combination of multiple functions so as you are starting we will go very simple and what we will going to do once we have written this is press either enter or click on this right sign so we will just click over here and we'll start doing the processing for us and over here you will see the profit ratio is now calculated which we can use in our visualization so to use that we can come over here and maybe what we can do is uh, we can create any chart maybe for example the bar chart not the stack but maybe a simple bar chart that we can create which is also called a cluster bar chart and uh, what we can take is maybe the product category as the dimension like we earlier created and uh, for the measure the newly created measure the profit ratio is something what we can take so over here this is the profit ratio which is present so if we just add that so what you see is a lot of since there were like a lot of negative values so a negative profit ratio that is being created and uh, over here uh, there must be some aggregation that is applied so right now if you see this is something which has been taken as a sum However, we have the option of changing it to average or to uh, the other variation of the measure that we can apply to it. But that's very quickly how you can produce the, the profit ratio as the calculation within the Power BI as a brand new field which was not earlier available. But now you have it which is showing you the information for each row. 
whether something is in a profit or not. So that's about it. Now we'll meet in the next topic.